Hello everyone, Creative Inus here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial. And today we have designed this beautiful animation where you can see the cards are scrolling from bottom to top. And you can use this kind of animation for features, goals, objectives, mission, steps, workflows, product features, app features and all that kind of stuff. So I hope, hope you will like it. So please subscribe to our channel, join the membership, hit like and share and support us. So let's begin with the tutorial. Now insert a circle here and then remove its outline and post that go to format shape and fill gradient color here. And we will create a concept of a sky or a horizon. And for that you need four gradient stops and keep it linear. I mean the gradient type should be selected as linear at the moment and then we will change it to radial. Regarding colors, start with some dark color, then shift to light, then again some dark but lighter than the first color. With that kind of approach, you can create a sky or horizon gradient. And then change to linear and change the angle and you will get a beautiful gradient inside a circle. So this is looking really nice. If you put stars, then it will definitely look like a sky. Now again insert another circle, remove its outline. Apply inward shadow effect. And change the color to dark blue, increase transparency, increase the blurness. Experiment here, but keep the shadow minimal. And then fill a nice pattern. And you can select any pattern you want but again you have to use the light colors here for the background and the foreground so till now i hope you have easily understood so we have created two circles here already now it's a time to add another circle for the third circle we will only keep its outline and that should be the gradient one and not a solid fill the line should be filled with the gradient colors and the gradient colors should match with the color scheme that we have used in the circle so that's how you can use it you can also try with two gradient stops currently we are using three gradient stops and then try to change the angle or direction or you can also use the type as path for the gradient so it's totally your choice you can try different things here and here is the end result keep the width of one point and now you can see it's looking really nice I've slightly increased the circle size which is at the center now we will insert one more circle here but just for design or you know just for aesthetic purpose so these kind of small shapes look good on a slide if placed well so remove its outline increase the transparency fill white color and now slightly adjust the gradient and we will create a layer for this circle for that you have to duplicate it and then insert a curve shape and we will draw a curve custom shape and now we have to select both these shapes go to merge shapes and click on intersect and you will get a shape like this fill white color increase the transparency and now you can see it's looking really nice but the background is looking slightly dull and we have to make it more saturated by you know moving the gradient stops and adding one more gradient stop here and we are adding some dark and vibrant colors and now you can see it's looking much brighter than before 
now reduce the size of this, of the circle now duplicate the circle and reduce its size and place it like this again duplicate reduce the size and again place next to the previous circle now select this overlay cutout and change to gradient fill and fill white color on both the gradient stops and increase transparency to 100% on the left gradient stop and increase the transparency to like 50% on the second gradient stop and you can try to change the angle as well and direction to see what looks best here and I think this is looking fine at the moment and now select this outer circle duplicate it and right click edit points and open path delete this point delete this one as well and you will get a semicircle like this but only the outline increase the width and place it like this select all these together press ctrl plus g to group them together and the basic shape is ready and now you can rotate it and you can see here it's looking really nice so let's place it here and this part is done and now the next step is to insert or let's do one thing let's use this shape and rotate 90 degrees to the left increase the size by holding shift and place and place it like this and and it's perfectly aligned make sure you align these shapes well now insert a circle here and just draw it uh, you know uh, just draw a little circle small circle and remove its outline and fill a gradient color and it should match the color scheme and then insert this rounded rectangle here and remove its outline we will keep it like white and we can change the background to gray to match the color scheme and change the background to gray and make it white and and here we are we can you know fill the shadow effect here increase the uh, increase the blurness and the transparency level and move this circle kind of here let's place it here at the moment So once the circle is in place now insert a shape here this is a this is an image placeholder and remove its outline so here you can add an image so this is basically information card that we are creating so so let's fill a nice image here so we are using Microsoft stock photos and you can fill the relevant image as per the information you want to present let's keep the circle here so this represents the current card the active card at the moment when the list will scroll let's put the headline here then you can place the description below the title so it's totally up to you how do you want to present the information and now you can add the description here so this is the end of part one where we have created the shapes so our base is ready the template is ready we just now have to you know animate it and make it look beautiful so i hope you will like it and we will upload the second part very soon 
and please subscribe to our channel join the membership just wait for the second part in that part we will explain how to animate this and make this really beautiful so keep watching our videos we will see you guys in our next video bye bye